In January 2015, Jean Moulin University opened its first MOOC. A motivated team of teachers wanted to experience the design and animation of this kind of learning system and jump on the MOOC bandwagon like many other institutions at this time. This MOOC welcomed 7,500 participants, a very satisfactory number for a French MOOC. But about only half of them were really active. But the rate which was really interesting for us was the 90% of professional participants. This can be explained by the topic of the MOOC, Introduction to Business Process Mapping. We proposed an initiation to business process management to help organizations to improve efficiency and quality, and also a method and a formalism to draw those processes. Thus, it allowed participants to learn knowledge, but also to acquire skills by making the MOOC practical and directly applicable. Participants had the choice to obtain the Level 1 certificate by answering quizzes to verify acquired knowledge, but also to obtain the Level 2 certificate by adding a group project evaluated by peers. 92% of the participants had a professional interest in the short or medium term, and therefore a real operational concern. Also, regarding the feedback and the fact that some companies have contacted us to include our MOOC in their training plan, we felt the great potential of adjusting this learning system to meet some organization expectations. Thus, we propose two complementary offers, specifically dedicated to professionals. First, a blended MOOC format, which mixes the online course with a face-to-face -face support. In this scenario, Learners follow the same learning path like the regular MOOC participants, but they also have an individual support and sessions with a teacher to assist in their progress. This premium service can also be completed by a customization of the group project theme, which can be adapted to the stakes of the participant. And also, we propose a recognized university degree, based on the completion of this MOOC and another one. This will include extra exams and individual tutoring. Organizations are ensured a certain level of learning and learners are valued by an official university degree. Mixing the massive open with the individual private makes MOOCs more suitable for organization training needs. Indeed, when a MOOC is designed by a university, it is proposed to organization as a preconceived training system. This means that the MOOC landscape offers an on shelf catalogue of training modules. The design cost is not inputted to organization. Being preconceived is one of the main advantages of MOOC for companies, but also one of the major limitations. Training created for thousands of scattered learners with various profiles may not be adapted for peculiar expectations. So, we need to align the MOOC on specific needs. With only using a MOOC, this may not be possible. By adding face-to-face -face meeting and adapted group projects, we reduce the gap between the original module and the operational needs of the organization. The main MOOC content remains generic, but learners can make the connection between their learning and their own practice field. At last, it may help the persistence of the learners, which is known to be very difficult. Achieving a MOOC requires a lot of individual skills like self-organization, self-motivation and self-determination. We must add some mechanism to improve the learner persistence, either built in the MOOC or set alongside. This is the case when you propose a blended system. By taking the individual out of the mouse, you improve the learning experience of the participants. Tutor can check progression, strengthen motivation, and propose individual remedial actions if needed. As MOOCs are not suitable for everyone, this support system can also federate more learners among those who do not have the required initial skills. In conclusion, although the MOOC course access remains free, 
Those two specific offers have a cost regarding the extra or premium services. This will allow the university to find a return on investment and a viable economical model. For the time being, some organizations have already expressed their interest and signed for a partnership. The MOOC appears to be a strong opportunity for the university. Indeed, it reinforces its role at the heart of continuing education and not just the initial training. However, we must be clear-sighted. The economic model will not be applicable to all topics. Practical and professional-oriented courses suit better to the model. Maybe we should not think about the profitability of a single MOOC, but about the whole picture. A cost-effective MOOC can help to finance citizen MOOCs, which can also be part of the ethic mission of universities. Mm-hmm.